Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news that global expansion seems to be getting more uneven. In the US, the good economic data keeps on coming. They reported a healthy PMI expansion in September, driven primarily by their service sector, which is now expanding at its fastest pace since March 2022. And the Chicago Fed's National Activity Index surprised with an unexpected gain in August. And because there is now less than a week until the end of the third quarter of 2024, the estimates now see an expanding economy there rising at between 2 and 3% real and keeping up the pace of expansion that shows no sign of slacking. On a real inflation-adjusted basis, the Trump economy grew 2.8% in his four years term. On the same real basis, the Biden economy has grown just on 10% during his three and a half years so far. So it may seem a bit odd that the heads of the regional Fed banks of Chicago, Minneapolis and Atlanta all said at a conference yesterday they recommend more rate cuts. India's economy is still expanding fast in September, according to the same PMI survey results. However, the pace isn't quite as fast as they had in, in August. And China's September PMIs aren't released until next week, but they may not be great. China's car dealers are pleading for government help as demand softens fast there. So in China yesterday, their central bank unexpectedly lowered the 14-day reverse repo rate and they also injected they also injected 75 billion yuan in liquidity into their banking system. And they pumped in up to another 160 billion yuan via a seven-day reverse repos. And in another unusual step, their central bank said its boss will give a unique briefing later today on financial support for economic development. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now just on 3.75% and up two basis points from yesterday. And the price of gold will start today at $2,628 an ounce and up $7 from yesterday and a new all-time high again. And oil prices have dipped 50 US cents to $70.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is now just under $74 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at 62.8 US cents and up 40 basis points from its time yesterday and near its highest of the year. Against the Aussie, we're unchanged though at 91.6 Australian cents. Against the euro, we're up a half a cent to 56.4 euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at 70.2 and up 30 basis points from yesterday. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow.